Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Gemini of why are you stuck with your ex? <clears throat> we just did a Facebook challenge in, um, in Dee's Divine Guidance VIP group about to get over your ex in five days. So if you're interested in that, you don't have to join the group, but you can sign up with the link below in the description and in the comments, okay? So we're going to go through here as to what is going on? So we're going to go and we're first we're going to look at the relationship. So let's look at your relationship. What was your relationship like with your ex? Okay, pick the one that you can't get out of your mind, the one that you're struggling with, the one that maybe has broken you, damaged you, you can't move on. And let's let's see what that relationship was like. Okay, <clears throat> so what I'm getting here is this relationship was really about, it was like, it was like your savior. It was like a new beginning because of maybe something that you have been hurt with in the past. And it was like someone came in to kind of save you. You have the sun card and the ace of pentacles here. And the sun card is all about healing. So I feel like this person might have come in and brought you the happiness that you didn't have before. It could have just been that you were so excited to have something new that, you know, it distracted you from feeling whatever you were feeling before. But I definitely feel like this was a ray of sunshine for you um, in the beginning, at least in the beginning. And they're telling me that's when you kind of got stuck is that because you started to depend on this relationship and this person. Uh, and <clears throat> when things fell through, you know, you never took that time to depend on yourself. And now we're going to look at the person. Yeah, so this person feels like could be a little bit uh, shady, okay? So you've got the Justice card and you got the Seven of Swords. So a little bit selfish I'm also getting with that Justice card, like wants what there is theirs. Um maybe doesn't value your opinions much or care about what you want as much. Um, and definitely some shadiness. So there could have been some lying, some manipul manipulation going on. Um, yeah, so not such great energy I'm feeling there. Definitely some selfishness and definitely some shadiness. And then we're going to look at you here. And you've got the death card and the three of pentacles. Transformation. Yeah, but I'm also I'm also seeing the woman on the rock there. So I actually feel like this person has has maybe not has like changed you and kind of drained your energy a little bit. And it's like and I feel like you were working on this relationship so much, like you were just like trying to make it better, trying to be who you want them to be or who they wanted you to be, trying to uh, figure it out all the time. Like, I feel like your energy is just so drained. Some of you definitely could have been dealing with a narcissistic person here. That's for sure. Gaslighting, everything's your fault. Um, you know, you're never going to do better than them, that type of stuff. So, all right. So why are we stuck to this relationship then? Why are we stuck? Okay, so stuck to this relationship, you've got the temperance and you've got the eight of swords. Comment below if you like the spread. Let me know. Let me know if this res is resonating with you. Please remember it's a general reading, so you could check out your moon and rising signs to see if that resonates with you better. It is general, so it might not resonate, and that's okay. Um, it's for who is meant to hear this, all right? So um, I feel as though... The fantasy. I'm feeling as though it's the fantasy here with this temperance card. Because I don't feel like it was the energy in the relationship. It was what the relationship could do for you and what the future is about. And with the eight of swords here, I feel like you're stuck because you're. it's fear. You know, she's blinded here. And with all these crow, crows like flying around her, I feel as though you, you know, are scared of the future, are scared of this person without being without this person and you're also scared of hurting this person also is what I'm getting um but you're scared of being without this person 
because I think there was an attachment there, right? There was a cord there to this person because they made you feel, no, they, they allowed you to escape your reality, allowed you to escape what needed to be done on the inner self here, the healing and all of that from what has happened in the past prior to this person. And sometimes we attach to that person and can't get them out of our minds because they were that, that, com like that security blanket for you. And I feel as though that is what's happening here. So how to move forward. How to move forward here. Oh, guys, look at this. You've got the three of swords and the five of swords. Look at those cards. Let go. You got to let go. You got to breathe. I'm feeling breathe. Take a deep breath in here right now and let it out. I am feeling the chaos of the thoughts going on here. You've got the three of swords and the five of swords. It's three, three of sor swords, three swords in her heart. Five of swords, two heart, two, uh, two swords in, did I say hearts? Five of swords, two swords in her back and him walking away with three of them, right? So you are hurt. And in order to move forward from this, there needs to be a release. There needs to be a disconnection. So please sign up for the challenge if this is resonating with you because we work on this in the five days. Okay, so it's free. You know, just sign up below. It's free. It's all for you. I, I do not want to see people stuck to people that were harmful to them, that hurt them. It just, that it kills me inside. So there's definitely hurt here. And in order to move forward, those swords need to be taken out. And the way you do that is by being aware, healing, you know, changing your beliefs and, and all of that. So we get into that in the challenge, but um, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you feel this way. If this is how you feel, because you're hurt and I can't, you know, can't see moving on because of the hurt. And in order to move on, you need to let go of some of that pain in order to open your eyes to see what's still in front of you. Okay. I hope that resonates with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, again, comment below. Let me know if it does resonate with you. Let me know if you like the spread. I can maybe keep doing it. Let me know. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay. Take care. Bye.